Everybody. Welcome to Great Day Houston. You just heard country singer Jake Worthington. He is performing this weekend at the Boots for Troops fundraiser. We'll hear more about the actual fundraiser and the cause later. But first, let's get to know Jake Worthington. Hello there. How you doing this morning? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm hanging in there. You're hanging in there. Yeah, All right. Yeah. yeah. Oftentimes you're performing on the later side of the day, aren't you? Right, right, yeah. All right. <laughs> so we oftentimes know where people are, don't know how they got there. Uh, no surprise that country music is a part of your life. Without a doubt, my uh, grandpa was a big reason in that, and just something I do, and I end up making a living out of it, yeah. or at least trying to. You're one of those rare folks who um, actually was born and raised here in Houston? Right, uh, south of Houston, yes ma'am. All right, and the kind of influences you grew up with was like some real country, like George Jones, right? But at the same time, Nelly and Kid Rock. That's right, yeah, no, we, we, we jammed it all out, we, had, we liked to party. Yeah. All right, I wish you had invited me to one of those parties. Uh, <laughs> what's cool about you, too, is that you, you kind of took to this naturally. Uh, you didn't take lessons because lessons were too expensive. You just learned yourself. Right. Cowboyed up. Kind of. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I had a bunch of friends who played and just wound up getting getting stuck with it. And that's what I've been doing it for since I was 12. So. Yeah. But when you do it because it's a part of you, although you work hard, does it feel like work every time when you sing? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> right. It's always worth it. I love no, your... I, I know what you mean. No, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very fortunate to get to do what I do. Yeah. All right. And some of your other inspirations, I love your variety here. ACDC, Porter Wagner, Mark Chestnut, and Prince. Hey, you ain't got to be rich to be my girl, right? <laughs> I, I want to see you take, like, a Prince song and make it country. Like, like have you, like, worn, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> purple rain, purple rain. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking for that to come out next. Okay, uh, a lot of us came to know you on The Voice, and a lot of us will think about doing something like that, but we'll never actually get the paperwork or get in line, the whole bit. What encouraged you to actually do it? It's not easy just to even try. Uh, the, they had the, the auditions here in Reliant, and just had a few friends tell me to go do it, and I just took a chance, got lucky. Yeah. Your mom suggested that you also go to the audition. You initially did not pass the blind audition. How'd you end up on the show? Uh, they they just called me back and said they wanted me to do it. And uh, sooner or later, I did it. And I got, like I said, I got lucky and very fortunate for, for everything that all the doors have been opened from it. And yeah. You say got lucky. But there's there's a talent there. I think I oftentimes know. people who perform underestimate that talent. What was it like to be on that stage? Something you had been doing for since, like you said, 12 years old. But all of a sudden, you're on this stage with all these people, and then knowing the rest of the country and part of the world is watching. Right. Well, you know, uh, before before that, I mean, that was I'm greener than a gourd, you know, and and uh, it was it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild, and and I've done a lot of. A lot of living sense and uh, growing sense, and you know, I, we, we just take a step forward every day. Yeah, all right. You released three songs, all hit the Billboard Top 20. Uh, you had your debut EP, tried on Billboard, so you had that success. Uh, Hell of a Highway is your called the sophomore EP. What do we mean by sophomore EP? Uh, second one. Second okay, one. your second I one. I think there. that's what it means. I yeah. don't really know you the know, difference. <laughs> somebody just called it that, and you're like, yeah. look, it's an EP, okay? Right, no matter what. Yeah. It's just uh, music. Right? You're working on your full length album now. Right, we, we, uh, we're doing a lot of writing and, and, uh, Getting ready to put a full record out, and that's that's something I've been looking forward to. And it yeah. takes time, and it and, does uh, take time, and money, it? and it's it's just one of them things. But I, you know, if these folks hang around long enough, they you know I'd like for them to hear it. Yeah. Okay. Say so you're doing some writing. I think a lot of us also don't understand that part. We understand getting inspiration for something, but there's a lot that you got to go through before that thing can actually be put down in a recording. Right. And you know, I'm I'm figuring that that out myself along the way, and and. Uh, you know, I I used to say I, you know, I write songs. But I don't consider myself a songwriter. You know, but uh, I, I I definitely feeling differently now. I I I love writing songs. Yeah. I think it's the that's the center of it all. You know, it's all about the song first. When you write first. it, you feel it. It's of right. you, by you. Hell, right? even if you're singing something you ain't wrote. You yeah. Know, I think <laughs> I think it's it's just ultimately about. Uh, 
being honest with it. And yeah. If you believe it, everybody else will or well, should. The great thing about um, your national exposure is that you're able to use your voice for other things as well. You have Concert in the Country, which is coming up, and that's right. Boots for Troops fundraiser. Yep. How important is it for you to be able to take your gift and what you do and make it do good for someone else? Well, you know, uh, I don't know if it's a gift, but uh, some people probably, their ears probably hurt from it, but... Uh, it really and truly, it, it, something real near and dear to my heart is 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 getting to to work with the veterans and yeah. and any way I can give back to that is a it's a big deal to me, and to think that it could potentially help, you know, yeah. I'm I'm all in for it. And Jimmy has been a good friend to me, and his family has been great to me, and. And I look forward to, to working with them for a really long time. All right. Well, Jake Worthington will perform this Saturday at Concert in the Country at 4 p.m. in Magnolia, along with Jason Cassidy and the Josh Abbott Band. Tickets start at $25, and it's part of the Boots for Troops fundraiser, which helps uplift morale of deployed U.S. troops. And we'll hear more details on that a little later on. But speaking of music, coming up on Great Day, the legend of Roy Orbison lives on. How technology is bringing him back on stage and where you can see him perform in Houston. But first... Here's Jake Worthington with Don't Think Twice. It's been a long week. It's clear to see. I've been missing you, honey, you've been missing me. Let's have a long talk, a little slow down, so I can let you know how I need you now. You've been needing conversation, a little something from the heart, never been the best with words. This is where I'll start. Bingo can paint a picture that lights up the sky. If you're wondering if I love you, don't think twice. been really praying, hoping that I don't lose you of words that I ain't saying. So, honey, here's the truth. Van Gogh can paint a picture that lights up the sky, but it ain't nothing compared to when we're dancing through the night. Loving on you, girl, it only feels right. If you're wondering if I love you, girl, let me show you that I love you. If you're wondering if I love you, don't think twice. 